Chances are you clicked on this video to answer one huge question. Is this the Overwatch killer or is this just some dirty clone? Well, to give you a really short answer, Rivals is a pretty good and fun chaotic game, but it has its own issues. Some of it being the lack of identity, characters feeling out of place, and many more which i'll dive into later in the video now i do want to make a disclaimer that i am an overwatch player as if you click on my channel you might see a lot of overwatch stuff in there it might come to the conclusion that i am glazing overwatch and i just absolutely hate this game which is absolutely not true i really did enjoy playing this game to my surprise and i do want to see it succeed as competition in the market is good for both games as they can both learn from each other but with that being said let's jump into the pros of this game now the first thing that you'll notice when even loading up the game is the aesthetics of the game and my god i gotta say this is quite beautiful to just even look at it looks like they put a lot of time and effort into the ui to where even when you go to the hero gallery or whatever you call it and start to look at the characters when you hover over one of them there's going to be a pop out of them and it's going to like follow your mouse which honestly really isn't needed but it's nice to see that and it's quite cool and then when you actually click on it you get to see their cool intro and like some lore and whatever which i mean if you're not a marvel fan and playing this game then i mean you get to learn about that which you know is always welcome and on top of that they have in-game video tutorials for all the characters that you may be interested in and that's always welcome as well moving away from the ui itself the features that are cool built into the game already even though this is a beta is that this game already has a replay system and i say that because i feel like besides overwatch and i guess fortnite don't include a replay system into their game like it's kind of crazy that I, I feel like these are the only two games that have that right now games like cod used to have it but then they took it out for some reason valorant still doesn't have it i believe and so many other games out there that are popular and i don't know why this isn't normalized just put in a replay system it's awesome it helps players look back at their mistakes this way instead of having to record a whole game and seeing what they could have done and seeing how other people were positioned and whatnot it's just a good overall feature and it's great to see that in this game on top of that even more in terms of gameplay and synergy the one thing i really really liked seeing is the in-game tournament feature and it's great for people that just kind of want to see how far you and your friends can get into a tournament setting speaking of friends in overwatch there's this play of the game system and sometimes that system exposes you for how bad you're aiming and shows it to the whole lobby what's cool in this game though is that instead of the play of the game you have highlights attached to everyone on your team so you kind of have this cool moment of the hey yo i hit this insane clip this game check out my highlight moment it might be in there and then it might still expose you but it's cool overall since sometimes you might just not want to watch some random bozos highlight now when it comes to the actual gameplay there is this cool thing to really emphasize team composition and that's the team of feature and the one thing i've really seen is when you pair someone like venom spider-man and penny parker Venom gives Spider-Man and Penny the symbiote and allows them to get this whole other ability in their kit. And yeah. Now another thing I want to mention is the third person. And personally, I'm not really a fan of third person shooters. But the more that I played this, the more I just kind of was fine with it. And honestly, the gameplay wasn't really that bad. And since it's third person, the skins that you buy in the shop will have more value to it since you can see the whole thing. And that's awesome. And at the end of the day, it's a Marvel game. And there's a lot of characters that aren't even in the game, such as Captain America. Since we know a lot of the characters, it keeps people pretty hyped and makes them wonder what kind of abilities will they have? And how will this character play on this map or new mode? And that's kind of what I want to get into a little next. Now, there's a lot of people that just hate Overwatch to its gut, and I really don't blame them after all the broken promises they made, but I can definitely see why a lot of people compare this game to Overwatch, as I believe that Overwatch laid down a lot of the fundamentals that this game takes a lot from. I would say that if you're playing this game expecting a different experience than Overwatch, it's going to be a little difficult as the game modes are quite literally ripped out from Overwatch, 
King of the Hill, escorting Payload, and whatnot. Now, I'm not saying that Overwatch is the absolute founder of these game modes, but it is literally the same exact game mode down to the bone. The overtime timer and the payload even heals you when you're sitting next to it. I mean, I'm an Overwatch player, so when I was low health and I needed some heals right now, I instinctively just sat next to the payload just assuming it would heal me just because I'm an Overwatch player. And to my surprise, it did. And I mean, I guess old habits just never die. Another thing in relating to the Overwatch clone aspect is I feel like personally this game is a calling to people that miss Overwatch 1. Think about it. 6v6 is in this game. There's no roll lock. So it's kind of like Marvel is saying, hey, come over here. We have all the things that you miss in Overwatch 1. And one thing that I think people forget about that was so terrible without Rolock is some motherfuckers are just selfish. In this game, you can get a full team of DPS, no healers, one tank, and honestly, just good luck at that point. But luckily, it's a beta, so it's very easily fixable as I feel like a lot of my games just don't have a healer in them since everyone wants to play Spider-Man. Another thing that really interested me is the remix of characters into Marvel Rivals from Overwatch. And some of these examples are showing up on screen, but someone like the Hulk has the mechanics of D.Va where he has a pistol just like D.Va and he shoots to get a mech. But in this case, he turns into the Hulk. Now, I want to make it very clear. I'm not saying Overwatch is the founder of all these abilities, but you can definitely see where Overwatch was a big inspiration in a lot of these abilities. Speaking of that, I feel like some of the abilities are kind of out of place as why does Hulk have like a Zarya bubble, basically? Why is Loki out of all people healing me? And why does Venom have an overshield? Those are just some of them, but you can kind of get the picture. And then on top of that, that, I'm not sure if it's just Doctor Strange thing, but some of these cooldowns should be traded with their ultimates as why is Doctor Strange's coolest ability being the portal on a three minute timer? Like this should just be an ultimate at this point and I would argue that his ultimate should be swapped to an ability. Maybe just make it one person because his soul like push out is kind of weird. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of weak, but that's just my opinion. And then speaking of ultimates, I feel like a lot of these ultimates are very uninspiring as when they were putting like Reaper Death Blossom on the cooldown, they forgot to give someone an ultimate. So they kind of just said, hey, let's just give them a big explosion and give them like a random effect, like more overshield or just shock everything around you. I hope that they consider this as I feel like the ultimate should be like the character defining thing and it won't really feel special if all of them just do a massive explosion. Like I don't know, Venom could have something where like his tentacles pop out of everywhere and like sucks on everyone so he gets like lifesteal while he's doing damage to everyone. Or give someone like Black Panther like stupid amount of damage resist that he can push back if people are shooting him or something. It's better than just a Black Panther that just does an AoE attack. Now besides all that, one thing that has been really annoying me is the voice lines. Now outside of the ultimate voice lines, a lot of these voice lines feel really annoying or even AI like. I believe that Groot is the biggest offender of all this since he can only say I'm Groot. So if you can imagine when he's popping every single ability, that shit gets really annoying really fast. Now I'm not saying that Overwatch voice lines are any better as I am tired of hearing Kiriko saying wait, wait till, till you see me on, me on my, my bike. bike and yeah I, I don't really think I need to say much. It's not something they can really change I think at this point unless they really just want to AI everything which kind of feels like they already have. Now one of the last biggest things that I feel like they really should take a look at is the feedback when shooting or even dying and let me explain. Now, it's kind of hard to explain since I'm not a game developer myself, and I would imagine that's kind of hard making your own unique sound. But when I'm shooting a gun in Apex or even Overwatch, I really feel like my gun has a lot of oomph to it. And I kind of just don't really have that feeling in this game. And they kind of just feel like they're hitting them. And I can see that it's doing a lot of damage, but I just don't really get that feel really hitting them. And then going back to the part of I don't really feel the feedback of when I'm dead, is usually when I die in another video game, such as Overwatch or even COD 
or apex i usually get that sound thing indicating that hey i'm dead and in marvel rivals it just doesn't really feel very apparent to me that well i'm dead like in overwatch you can hear a or whatever the hell i just did right there now a lot of the other issues that i have are pretty small like storm and iron man being pretty slow and clunky to use and at this moment in time I think it's just because the game is early, but I don't really see any two tanks right now that feel like a synergy like Ryan Zarya or Winston Diva. It kind of just feels like if you're playing tank, you kind of just exist. And I don't know, it's not, it doesn't really feel uh, that unique. And I guess on top of that, the destructive environment feels pretty pointless compared to something like the finals even, or even Rainbow Six Siege, as it kind of feels like a marketing thing, but like, oh, we have destructive environment, come play our game, but it really doesn't affect the gameplay at all since the maps are so huge. You don't really need to like carve out a way to get to the payload or anything like that. So it feels pretty pointless, but they've kind of already dug themselves too deep into the development of this game. So I don't really see them taking this out. Well, with that being said, it brings us back all the way to the first question I mentioned at the beginning of the video being, well, is this the overwatch killer or is this just some dirty clone well it's honestly hard to deny that it doesn't take or even copy some aspects from overwatch and apply it into their game but i don't think that's a bad thing as honestly overwatch already has a lot of years under its belt and made a lot of mistakes and all marvel has to do is just not make the same mistakes and learn upon them and even improve upon them Look at games like Fortnite, Warzone, and Apex. When Apex came onto the scene, they had this respawn system which solved a lot of the issues with them battle royales as once you were dead in most of them, you kind of just had to sit and spectate your friend the rest of the match. But with Apex, it keeps the player engaged the whole time as you can potentially come back if your player survives. Fortnite and Warzone both introduced a similar system into their game and they built upon each other, making it an overall better experience for everyone. But is this gonna kill Overwatch? I don't really think so. I honestly thought Overwatch was gonna die last year, but somehow it prevailed and stayed alive. So if you're just a Marvel Rivals hater just for no reason, I think it's kind of silly, as if you're an Overwatch player hating this game, you should be rooting for it, as if it improves and becomes better than Overwatch, then it will mean that Blizzard is going to have to step up, and if Blizzard's doing better, then Marvel is going to have to step up, and it keeps being this tug of war. The winner at the end of the day is the consumer, so yeah. If you agree or disagree with anything that I said in the video, please tell me why. I'd love to argue or talk to you in the comments down below. If you like these types of game reviews, please feel free to like and subscribe to the channel as this helps me a lot. And with that being said, take care of yourself, take care of each other. Peace and love, baby.